Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Archaeologists have discovered a major pre-dynastic burial ground in northern Egypt, complete with 83 graves with fantastic preservation. The find was made during archaeological excavations in the Koam al Kiljan region of Egypt's Dakalia Governorate, located to the southeast of Alexandria. Experts say that the graves date back to at least three different periods of Egyptian history. One set dates to the first half of the 4th millennium BC, known in Egypt as the civilization of Buto. This little known society was based around a city of the same name, that was situated in the Nile Delta. This culture was thought to have been enormously influential in the development of the Old Kingdom and the early days of dynastic history. The graves of the Buto culture are oval pits, and inside the deceased were placed in a squatting position, rather than the sleeping position of dynastic history. Around the bodies were placed a number of funerary objects such as bowls and jars, which is common practice in pre-dynastic burials. But three of the graves at the site date back to 3200 BC, from the Nakeda III culture, which existed just before the onset of dynastic history. This is known as the Proto-Dynastic Period, and this is when the foundations were laid for the Old Kingdom. This is when state institutions are in development before Pharaoh Nama or Menes unified the country around 3150 to 3100 BC. So, as you can see, these burials are just before the unification of Egypt. These skeletons of the Nakeda III culture were also found in a squatting position, surrounded by funerary objects, as well as bowls that contained eyeliner and also oyster shells. With the Nakeda III burials, experts also found two clay coffins as shown here. This type of coffin has not been previously discovered in this part of the country. Lower Egypt, aka the north of the country, is obviously where we find the enormous pyramid structures and is a focus for many Egyptologists and alternative researchers. So pre-dynastic finds from Lower Egypt will certainly help us with our understanding of the development of the country. Talking to the Egypt Independent, Mustafa Waziri said, This site must have witnessed heavy human activity during the eras of Nakeda III and Buto. It shows both similarities and differences between these two pre-dynastic cultures. The final set of discoveries at the gravesite was from the Second Intermediate Period, a time when the Hyksos people occupied northern Egypt. These mysterious, possibly Semitic people ruled Egypt from 1640 to 1532 BC. From this era there are four burials, three adults and one child. As well as the bodies, experts have also found handmade pottery, personal ornaments and also amulets containing semi-precious stones, one of which is shown here. As well as all these burials, archaeologists also discovered the remains of the foundations of mud brick buildings, as well as ovens or stoves from the second intermediate period. Excavations and investigations are ongoing, and if I learn anything more, I'll report it here on Ancient Architects. On Wednesday around 7pm UK time, I'll be releasing a new documentary from Rocket House Films called The Robot, The Dentist and The Pyramid, a 45 minute documentary that follows the Jedi Pyramid Robot team as they explored the Queen's Chamber Southern Air Shaft back in 2011. The robot was the third to go up the shaft after the robot called Pyramid Rover last entered 9 years previously. Pyramid Rover was the one that drilled the hole into the Gantenbrink door, but was only able to look straight ahead. Jedi was able to thoroughly explore the space behind the Gantenbrink door, and I'll be showing exactly what they discovered this week. On Wednesday, I'll also be releasing the 9 hours of raw footage that was filmed by the Jedi robot. This is the raw film of the robot's ascent all the way up to the Gantenbrink door, and then also the footage from behind the door itself. Being 9 hours long, this footage is not easy to watch due to the robot's slow progress and there is also no commentary over the top. But it is a fantastic research tool that anyone can use, to see if you can spot anything that has been missed by the Jedi team. 
Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.